So anyone who likes pork crackling and likes seafood, combine those two flavors together and this is what you're gonna get. If you haven't tried this, you've gotta try it. It's so good. G'day, Strick from B2B here. Now the coral trout is one of my favorite fish. I'm gonna show you how I take it from the filleting table to the dinner plate. First step, arguably my uh, my favorite is you gotta catch the buggers. Yes, yes. <laughs> Once you've done that, you get him on a, a filleting board just behind the peck fin, cutting away from yourself with a sharp knife. The second step is at the back of the fish, working your way down just above that backbone. I come out the tail, and as you can see there, I'm just peeling the meat away from the backbone. There we go, beautiful fillet of coral trout. You then do the exact same on the other side. There we have it, two beautiful fillets of coral trout, and we've got the fish frame here. Now this part is quite often overlooked and it's actually my favorite part of the fish. We're actually gonna eat the coral trout skin. I'll show you how we do it. Flip that fillet on the back. You want a sharp knife in your right hand. And then there's two moving parts here. There's your knife in the right hand. Move your left and your right hand against each other. And there you have it. Beautiful coral trout skin. All right, to bone these guys, they've got one Set of pin bones down the middle. Just very carefully chop that one out. All right, now this is the end product. We got two beautiful coral trout fillets with no bones in them, and we've got the skin. First step, chop this up into bite-sized pieces. Now today I'm going to do I'm going to do this coral trout fillet just in a little bit of really simple breadcrumb mix. This is what I do for it. Pour a bit of breadcrumb into a Tupperware container, a bit of garlic salt, a bit of all-purpose seasoning. Now this is where you can really get creative in your own breadcrumb mix. These few ingredients I really enjoy, but um, let me know in the comments if there's something else you enjoy. A bit of red curry paste also goes well. Salt and pepper. Mix it all around. Now, we're just gonna throw that fillet straight on in. Lid goes on, shake that around. That's simple as that, that's literally two minutes of work and we've got that beautiful crumbed coral trout fillet. Now it's time to fire this barbecue up. Yeah. Beauty. Beauty. All right, while we're waiting for that pan to heat up, I'm gonna show you how we get this coral trout into the equivalent of basically a pork crackling. We're gonna get it nice and crunchy. So. Put it down, scale side up, get a heap of salt on it, get a pretty generous amount of salt in there. That salt really, really helps it go crunchy. All right, and then we're gonna chop it into strips. For the kids at home, this might be a job for an adult, for mum or dad, and um, just make sure you're always chopping away from yourself. Right. Short is here, he's been Classic doing Classic bloody door. stitch up here, just cut me finger. Oh no. <laughs> There we go, we've got our coral trout skin cut up the perfect sizes. We've got our fillet breadcrumbed and we've got two different stoves going. So you wanna get them really, really hot. As you can see here, that one's starting to smoke. Get a bit of a generous amount of oil on there. While we let that one heat up, we'll get a generous amount of oil on the plate. And now it's show time. Let's get this fillet on. Give it a little bit of a little bit of oil allows it to get that beautiful crispy outside and also keeps the, the moist inside. So there we go. Now this is the part, this is my favorite part, this is the part I, I love. So we've got a really hot pan. Have a look at what happens here when that coral trout skin goes in. See how it just gets crispy and curls up? That's exactly what we're going for here. Look at it go. So with your skin, you want to go scales and all. You can do this on any fish that has got smaller scales, but uh, my favorite, without a doubt, is the coral trout. Now, I'll probably leave this for literally only five minutes, um, and then I'll look at turning both the fish and the skins. Another couple of minutes on the other side, and job's done. It smells good. It's a shame at home you can't smell the smells that are coming off it, but the smells coming off this trout skin is just so, so, so good.
a little bit more for good luck. All right, it's been about five minutes time to flip this coral trout. Oh, as you can see, that's why I love putting a little bit of oil and then uh, a little bit more oil on the pan. You get that beautiful golden brown crispy outside. And the beauty about coral trout and good fresh reef fish is it always holds its, um, holds its moisture and beautiful taste. So that is looking as good as it gets really at the moment. Look at that, it's just falling apart. Beautiful. Over here, in the, um, the coral trout skins, because we've given them a pretty good, uh, pretty generous bath in oil, the last couple of minutes I just liked moving them to the top side of the pan, and um, that burns a little bit of the oil off, and that's when you get that really crispy outer skin, is when you just pull that, pull the oil off. There we go, a couple of minutes, and then it's show time. Oh, perfect. Super simple way to do the coral trout fillets, but it's the go-to for me. I always go back to this method. And over here, we've got coral trout crispy skin. And who would have thought that now my favorite part of the fish is actually the skin that I've been throwing away for all these years. And that bit looks like the first bit I'm gonna go at. That is so bloody good. It is almost good enough just to eat the skin and throw the fillet out. <laughs> Not quite that good, but it's sensational. If you haven't tried it at home, give this a go. Coral trout, crispy skin and fillets. Takes about 15 minutes from the filleting table to the dinner table. Hope you enjoy it. Wow, mission success. Cheers.